hi guys how are you doing hope you're fine welcome to the life with the blessed family today um i'm just so stressed and uh, ready to answer one of you of the questions that many of you ask me or ask my friends and want to know so they go the long uh, the long the long route uh, to know the reality yes the reality happened and I can't complain and I'll answer why it took place um, maybe somebody can tell me you um, have you ever okay how do I place it as a single mom as a single mother, have you ever gotten married with a kid whereby that is not the biological father? Like, it's a, 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 big, a big child, not even a big child, any child. Like, you got married to call like a kwa mtu mwingine, na uo mtu is not the father to the kid. And how did they bond? How did the relationship go? Did he start bonding? And after you got married, what happened? So can you just comment and tell me what happened? Because I feel sometimes um, somebody, it's not not necessarily even single mothers, even single fathers can tell, can, can comment because it's a two-way traffic. Because um, I feel sometimes people try to to fake the relationship of the to the kids so that to win the mother. Because to win a mother or to win a mother or even uh, the man, okay, but basically most of the time relationships are started by men. For a man to win a lady who has a child, they want to win the baby first. So they try, maybe I see sometimes some of them, not all, they fix the relationship. And uh, the kid is so innocent. And the kid uh, falls prey to the to the to the trap because you find you buy her sweet biscuits you know call her hi how are you you talk on phone and go out take others take them out buy them toys you know those are the fun things that the kid needs needs for them to confirm they are loved but on the other side the person the, the the thing that this person has in mind is totally different from uh, from what the kid thinks and you as an innocent mother like sometimes you see oh they are bonding and the bond is okay and you just like you love my kid then okay we can go on but unfortunately after you get married things start changing perhaps you get a kid and once you get a kid they happen to 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 forget like the other kid now you see this because now this is their biological child and uh, being their biological child now they have attraction to their biological child and forget the other baby and you know it starts dividing the two kids and you find this one kid has love only one side like the mother love only because the father was or even the, the mother it's a way to traffic so you find the kid is only getting love from one parent while the other one is getting both because this is your child both of you and it really affects kids so much and that is some things happen when ch happen with ch children when they are young might affect them even in the future and to cut this long story short or just to answer your question this is one and one major thing that I can say it's one of the many and they it's a list so I'll, I'll be sharing one once in a while so this is one thing that made me to leave my marriage I left my marriage because um, my kid is my priority and I love my kids so much I love my daughter very very much because before getting married I'd taken care of this baby alone for nine good years because I got married on her ninth birthday 
and it took me time for me to introduce him to, uh, her to to my ex husband because first I I know you know my the attachment that I have with my baby my baby is like my sister whoever has ever seen me walking around with my my baby you can really tell that she's my daughter you can really tell she's my daughter because we share so much with her. We can sit down, talk, laugh, do anything together with her. She's she's my little little sister. And even when she's bonding with my sister, she's still like she's a small a small sister. And so one of one day my baby once she loves you, she loves you with all her heart. And that's the same as me. If I love you, na kupenda na roho yangu. I don't share, like I don't share my heart with anyone. Like I just play you or start like I'm loving you. Nusu. I love you with my heart and my everything. So my baby was so happy and I uh, would play around with him. But it came a time when he doesn't want to be hugged. And once he hugged, oh, when you miss a tumbo, bono na nigonga. Wacha kunichezesha, where the kid needs homework, has ID, you know, until one day, I can be a mtoto, I scored a mwita daddy, and that really pained me so much. <laughs> then what is the need of loving me? If you don't love my baby, why me? And... <laughs> Why? Why do you have to love me if you don't love my baby? <laughs> and you could see my baby come home and after school finds him there. He doesn't talk. She just goes. And mind you, he had never bought anything, anything for my kid. First, my kid doesn't love sugar. Even tea, she doesn't take tea with sugar. So when he come and bring sweets to her, so she doesn't like take sweets. You buy biscuits. She, she doesn't love sugars. When what she wants is what to not buy. I remember when she was in um, class two, was it class two, three? I told her, Mommy, I'll buy you a brisk call when you get reach this target. And she did. She'd reach the target. But now, since he wants to be in the life of the baby, this is what I told him. Uh, uh, I buy the bicycle personally. It was so frustrating because even the wedding was planned. This is what we're going to to give the baby during the wedding. But my baby has never seen that bicycle up to date. Not that I cannot afford, but you know, I had budgeted it that time. But I still trust my baby. I'll still buy it for you, mommy. You know, I struggled with it. That was six. No, it was five months into our wedding and now my baby is told don't call me daddy <laughs> can you imagine how i survived i tried to, to to tell him please talk to the baby and and it was actually the covid year so you see all this time and maybe true to his words school fees so he he had promised to be paying school fees. So he went to she went to school, and mimi ni melala na sketu mlangu imegongo. Ambia mami ni mefukuzwa school fees. That was the most difficult time for me. But I don't like seeing mtoto akunyumbani kwa sababu ya school fees. Not only mine, mwingi ni ataniyum. I wish I have that capability to say dear mtu. Mimi mtoto kama hayuko shule, it's only that this kid is sick, but not lack of school fees. It hurts me so much. So, that is one of the many reasons that made me leave my marriage. And I can promise you, my happiness, my baby's happiness comes first. And if you have any question why I left my marriage, I've given you one answer. I know you have all different versions because 
niliandikwa social media he posted what he wanted on his timelines he posted on his status but you know what i don't judge i don't judge he has the right to do he has the right to do that but if he has ever found me posting him on social medias posting him like on my status and my timelines and even going to that extent now no 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 i cannot allow my baby my first priority and so many other things that happened that even led me to depression like i went for, into depression like it really hurts me it hurts me please let me tell me guys when when you you child has like how do how do they bond single mothers single fathers because right now if i will ever get married and this is a video i'm leaving here if i ever because for now now it's only for somebody who has a kid who has a kid can why sorry for that so tell me like how do you how, how because if if i ever and god it is my prayer if i ever get into another relationship or another marriage is whereby whereby the fa the, the 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 man has a kid and this kid doesn't have a mom and i mean a window because on this because i can try to imagine someone else getting into a life of a kid for her his or her own selfishness like because you just love this person and you have your own goals to achieve getting a kid with this person and then all of a sudden once you achieve your goal you change everything towards this baby it's so disheartening it's just an innocent kid you know a kid will not understand because even explaining to the kid to me achana kwa sababu ya hakupendi you know it's so bad and being a mother i'll fight for that and even for single dads i'll fight for them because you can't tell me you love unapenda ngombe lakini upendi nini the dama you know you pick everything with with it i'm i'm so mad and I've never gotten a place where boy I'm going to explain this. You know, it's it's so it's so mad. I mean, I get mad. Mimi napenda watoto tena sana. And I don't want to include this one here. No, let me just include it. Because on the other notes, remember I have a kid. I was told, you know, a conversation that was just happening that i'm lying i can't give birth to a kid i can't give birth to a child what wangu ni nani like what is this are they potatoes ninguni ayawaru ama ni nini you know you know sometimes people stay in marriage they're trying to save their marriage but they're hurting the kids unaumiza mtoto for your own selfishness let your kids be their for priority wacha kwa sababu yeye hata akikuwa na watoto 10 but he never loves them why are you staying there just because this person loves you love your kids fast love yourself love your kids no i can i could not and i can never entertain this so if you have to love me it's to love me with my kid and i will love your kid like i love kids i love kids and i like ta mucho me si mtoto mmoja ama wawili naendanga kwa they know my kids but they cry nikitoka even somebody can think bona ninaacha mtoto ama mtoto amechapwa na nani but they cry i love kids i love bonding with them so and what you know step on my kid step on me and i'll i'll act on it my baby my first priority if you come with you as they both my babies and i love them like i'll treat your own baby as my own own baby you know if i continue this video i'll get so mad so so mad so i think i've answered one of your question my marriage lasted for one year and that one year was hell i'll not lie to you nani wafurahishe and if this video gets to him i don't care if it gets to the family some of them know and they'll know the reality i know even the past everybody they know this so if they get to them 
I don't care. It's my life. And sometimes we fail. Um, most ladies, we fail and we suffer in our marriages just because we want to please somebody or because the society, what will the society say? <laughs> Is the society in your house? Is the society bringing you happiness? Is the society what you're going to eat? Please, can you use this? Use this. Let your happiness come first. And the moment you have your happiness and you love yourself, you will always think straight. Because you can't think straight when you don't love yourself. You can't think straight if you don't value it. It is you love yourself and then love your baby if you have any. And if you don't have any, maybe if you're in the future. If you're single, please let people not... Let your love, your happiness comes first. Because when you have your happiness, you have your peace of mind and you'll make your decisions with straight and conscious mind. If you're stressed, just speak to somebody. Don't make any decision or his decision when you're stressed. Just make, talk to somebody who is, uh, who is close to you. Or maybe sometimes somebody may decide to talk to somebody who doesn't know them so they don't judge them according to how they know them. So you can talk to somebody, release your stress. You know, a problem once she had is half solved. So at least you'll be able to, to make decision the sober mind. Because um by when I'm making um I'm um taking this video, I it was not it was out of I like the whole day has been so messy to me like i was trying to work yes and i will try to make um, several calls just to talk to somebody but uh, had I, I i didn't get anybody to talk to and i still actually this is not the reason why i wanted to talk to them because there is an issue that is totally bothering me and it's 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 from from somewhere way back and when this issue triggers me it triggers everything in me everything like i say everything in me i think i've talked so much but in the next maybe i'll be sharing once in a while that is one thing mothers fathers love you kids let them be your priority. Don't stay in that marriage where you're suffering or where your kids are suffering just for the sake of making anyone happy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and kindly subscribe to this and we'll have so much more videos in this. Please, if you're going through the same, I'll, I'm planning of uh, making a segment, a talk whereby we can have we can have interviews and maybe somebody share an experience. I might have my experience may be different from someone else. Maybe someone else of a similar story, but like the bonding and the children all they have a nice blended family like it's not always negative there's a positivity side of it so if you have a story you would wish to share with us encourage with us just talk to me uh my instagram page is uh is uh precious girl and you, you can precious girl 2010 you can send me their facebook it's koiwawa home just talk to me. I'll I'll be ready to listen listen to you. I also have a Facebook page which is Koiwawa Home. Reach out to you anywhere, and we'll be glad. Like I'll I'll be ready to listen to you. The the little I can offer help, talk, prayers because I trust prayers work. I'll do that. Thank you so much for watching for this long video, and I really appreciate for your subscription for your support. I'm so humbled. Thank you so much. Be blessed. Have a good um, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on what time you're watching this video. And I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Bye.